Hi guys, this is a video showing you how you can get really long uh, battery life for your Micro BR80. It's a little bit of a trick. Um, it only works with the Micro BR80. It doesn't work with the first gen Micro BR. So when you plug this into a computer, you get um, it actually powers the unit. So what you can do is you can purchase an external battery like the RAV power battery, which is this unit right here I bought for about, uh, I actually got it for about 12 bucks, um, but you can, normally it's about $16, but if you, you know, wait, you might find it on sale for about 12 bucks. And what it's got, it's got two ports, um, one's a two amp and one's a one amp. Um, either one will work, um, but I would suggest using the two amp, um, because although the one amp will work, it's probably not a good idea to starve, uh, well, any electronics for power. And, um, and just in case it has to draw more power for certain functions, you won't run into an issue there. Now, all you need to do to make this work is just basically, like I said, buy an external battery and then plug in your USB cord and plug it into your unit, like so, and then turn it on, it'll work. Now there's a little bit more that you need to do before you do that, and I'm going to show you what to do. Um, First of all, it'll work without batteries, actually, in the battery compartment. You can just use this. However, I suggest putting some rechargeable batteries in, a full, you know, fully charged rechargeable batteries, just in case this happens to die, um, which is unlikely because uh, this should probably run based upon the, uh, the fact that this is about, I think, eight or 10,000 milliamps. Um, I would imagine this would probably run pretty much an entire day. I mean, like literally a day of it being on, um, but that's just a total guess uh, based upon the fact that this is supposed to get about six to seven hours of battery life with a, a brand new set of like Enel Loop rechargeables. So anyway, um, but in order to set this up, you're going to need to put batteries in it initially. And here's the the part that's very important. Let me get this to boot up. Okay, so in order to get this to work. What you need to do is go into the menu, go over to function, sys, uh, not system, a USB, right under system. Okay, select that and make sure you change this mode to audio. Okay, if you don't change it to audio, what's going to happen is it's going to boot up and it's going to have this constantly blinking screen that says, like, please wait loading, please wait loading. Um, probably not good for the device, but. Um, Habit of mine didn't really seem to hurt anything, but I wouldn't suggest doing it. Anyway, set it to audio, USB mode to audio, then hit enter. It tells you to restart to change the USB mode, so you hit enter, and then you just power the unit off. Okay, now, now that I have it switched, I'm actually going to take the batteries out to show you that this actually works without batteries. Okay, so I've taken the batteries out. No batteries in there. And uh, here's my unit, my USB uh, battery pack, and I plug it in. And on this unit, there's actually a power switch to turn it on. So I press that to enable power coming from this, and then I turn this on. And there you go. See, it boots right up, and again, no batteries. Now you probably want a shorter USB cord than this, it's a little crazily long, and uh, if you get a nice short one, you can probably tuck this under here, maybe use some Velcro or something and stick it to it, and then just have a little short USB, and um, they do sell uh, USB cords with a like an angle here, which would probably be a little bit better, rather than have this big thing sticking out that could get caught on something. Um, but you see, it's powered right up, and uh, you can do any of your functions here. So I'm going to arm it and record, and you can see it's it's actually running fine. Um, and uh, as you see up here in the corner, you can verify that it's actually drawing USB power because it actually shows a little USB indicator right up there. Okay. And uh, and there you have it. And uh, like I said. I do recommend putting a set of rechargeable batteries in the unit just in case your brick 
happens to die, uh, highly unlikely if on a fully charged one. I mean, it would literally probably take about a day to uh, to actually kill that. Um, now, you, according to the manual, the USB does not recharge the batteries inside. So, technically speaking, you could have put alkalines or rechargeables in here. But, honestly, just in case there's a misprint in the manual, you wouldn't want to be... Uh, recharging alkaline batteries. Like I said, it, in the manual it says that it doesn't recharge the batteries through the USB or even through the power adapter. It just says it, it doesn't recharge you it doesn't charge the rechargeable batteries in the unit. However, just in case that's a misprint, you, you know, you don't want to run the risk of batteries exploding or something like that. So, I recommend nickel metal hydride uh, rechargeables in here just to be on the safe side. Now, one nice feature of um, this uh, Rav Power Deluxe Series power bank, this is the RP PB12 8400 milliamps battery. Um, a nice feature of this is that uh, actually two nice features is one you can double click it and you have a light so if you're bringing this to live gigs a lot of times it's hard to see this is nice to be able to see what you're doing and hook things up. Uh, another nice feature is that it actually comes with a storage bag. The storage bag fits this nicely but the nice thing is it also fits your, uh, your BR80. So, and uh, let's face it, the BR80 is a lot more expensive and a lot less durable than this battery, which is pretty much one solid little brick. Um, now, pretty much any of these batteries will work, provided they have, a, you know, enough output. Like I said, this one has 1 amp and 2 amp, but most of these units would. They're capable of charging for 1 amp, like uh, an iPhone or uh, a smartphone and uh, with 2 amp would be for, two, for a tablet. But like I said, I would use the 2 amp port. Also worth noting is that the cables that come with this battery are micro USB for charging it. Okay, What you're going to need to hook up your boss is going to be your standard mini USB. Just the same one that you use to connect it to a computer. So keep in mind there's two different ones. One for charging this and one for connecting it. They look similar except the mini USB is obviously a little bigger than the micro USB. One last note about this. Um, now we changed the USB uh, mode to be audio. In order for you to connect this to your computer and transfer files, you need to change this back to storage. Hit enter and it says to restart and then you'll have to power off your unit and restart it. If you don't do that, you won't be able to transfer files back and forth to your computer. So keep that in mind. You need to switch it to audio to hook up an external battery pack to the USB port and power the unit. And you need to change it back to storage to transfer files back and forth to your computer. And that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it useful. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and please check out my other videos. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Have a good one.